Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and I am back with a brand new video of Salesforce admin series. In today's video, we are going to learn about custom field with text and text area data types of it. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. Let's start with the first question. What is a custom field in Salesforce? So basically, a custom field is like a database column which is created by user in order to store specific types of data relevant to your business. Custom field comes into picture when you want to store data which can't be stored by standard field which are provided by Salesforce. Salesforce supports many different field types to store information. And text field is one of the most commonly used field type in Salesforce. Now the question is why we need text fields. So basically a developer can use text fields to store information like name or to provide description about products. Basically, Salesforce has five text type fields and these are text, text area, text area long, text area rich and text area encrypted. In this video, we will learn about these fields and also we will create these fields in custom object and we will store information in them. Now let's start with first field which is text. Basically, a text field allows user to enter combination of letter, numbers or symbols. A developer can set its length up to 255 characters. Next is text area. So text area field allows user to enter up to 255 characters, same as text field. But wait, what's the difference between text and text area field? So the basic difference is that a text field allows you to store data and display it in a single line of text while a text area field allows you to store and display data in multiple line of text just like description field. Let's create and test both fields. For that let's go to our org. Here we already have a custom object. Let's create a field. Click on new and here we will select text. Click on next. Let's say text field. Here you need to give length of field, but you can't give more than 255. Let's try with 256. And if you click on next, then it will show error that length must be less than or equal to 255. Let's give 255. Click on next. We will make it visible for all profiles. And save and new. Now we will create text area field. For name, let's say text area field. In text area field, there is no need to select length. Click on next. Make it visible for all profiles. And save. Let's refresh this page. Click on new. And this is your text field. This is your text area field. For name, we will give test name. Test data, test one, test two. Here you can see that we can add data in multiple lines, while in text field we can't store data in multiple lines. Let's add one more line. Click on save. You can see that data is stored in multiple lines. Now let's move to next field which is text area long. In this field you can store up to 131,072 characters in separate line similar to description and text area field. You can also set its length to a lower limit but it should start from 256. Its default length is 32,768 characters. Also, this field is not available for activities or product on opportunity object. Next is text area rich. 
Basically, this data type allow user to add images and hyperlinks. It also contains a toolbar by which you can format the field content. Like it allows user to undo or redo, bold, underline and many more actions. And in this field, only GIF, JPEG and PNG file types are supported. Now the basic difference between text area long and text area rich is text area long fields are generally used for storing large amount of plain text, while text area rich fields are better suited for storing large amounts of data that need to be formatted with images. So let's test both this field. Let's select text area long. Click on next here. Text area long. Now you cannot set its length less than 256. Let's test that also. Let's give 255. And here you can set number of visible lines, like how many lines you want to make visible. Click on next. See the error has come that length must be greater than 255. Let's give 256 and click on next. It will make it a visible for profile. Save and new. Let's create one more field of text area rich. Text area rich. And this is the default length. Click on next. We will make it visible. Click on next and save. Let's go to our object again. Press it. Click on new. And here you can see both fields. Here you can store large amount of plain text. But here, a toolbar is provided by Salesforce by which you can do many operations like you can make your text bold, italic, underline and you can also add images here. So let's test it. Text rich and we will make it bold, we can make it italic, also underline, text area long. And we can also that color of text. Let's save this. Coming to last data type, which is text data encrypted. So basically, it allows user to enter any combination of letter or numbers or symbols that are stored in encrypted form. Its limit of length is up to 175 characters. These fields are encrypted with 128-bit master keys and use the advanced encryption system AES algorithm. I have provided a link to read about AES algorithm in the description. Also, I will create a separate video on Salesforce encryption. Now let's create text encrypted field. For that, let's go to our org. Click on new. Select this field. And here we will give label did length must be less than 175 so let's give 150 and here you need to select your mask type that whether you want to mask all characters or last four characters clear so let's select last four characters clear here you need to select your mask character if you will select this one, then output will be this, and if you will select this star, then output will be this. Let's select X, and these both are required field. So we need to enter any value here. Click on next, make it visible, and save. Let's test it. For that, we will create a new record. Test 1, 2, 3. Provide any value. 
click on save and here you can see value is not fully visible now the important point is that if a user want to see the value of any text encrypted field then the user must have the permission of view encrypted data so let's test it we will create a permission set with view encrypted data enabled for that go to setup type permission set here we will create a new permission set click on new label will be encrypt permission for license let's select salesforce click on save go to system permission click on edit to make it quick let's so here is the permission that we needed let's save it now we will assign this permission set to a profile for that let's go to manage assignments click on add assignment and here you need to select your user click on next and assign now we will refresh this page and here you can see that i am able to see the value because i have view encrypt data permission enabled for my profile that's it for today guys and i will be back with more interesting videos if you have any scenario or suggestion for me then please comment i would love to hear feedback from you thank you